The following is a tour of the Purdue P3MD labs as they built the upgrade for the CMS particle detector. The high density interconnect circuit, HDI, and bare modules for assembly are visually inspected using a high powered microscope. Any defects are recorded in our local database and pictures of the parts are also recorded. The bare bump bonded module goes to our probe station to measure the pixel sensor's leakage current and breakdown voltage. The module is carefully positioned on the probe station chuck using a vacuum pen. The operator places the probes on the contact points on the sensor, then applies an increasing bias voltage to the sensor and measures the leakage current using a LabVIEW program. These measurements are automatically uploaded to the database. Each of the 16 readout chips, or rocks, has 4,160 solder bumps, which are bonded to pixels on the silicon sensor. The operator places the bare module and HDI onto vacuum chucks on the robotic gantry. Under LabVIEW control and high magnification optics, the operator locates fiducials on the bare module and HDI and stores their location in memory. The operator fills a reservoir with epoxy and the rest of the glue stamping is automatic. The robot moves the stamp over the brass reservoir and slowly brings the stamp tool down into the epoxy. It is then transferred to the top surface of the module. The stamp is slowly lifted off the module and leaves a pattern of epoxy in the pattern of the tines on the stamp. The operator places a custom bridge tool on top of the HDI and aligns it to the dowel pins in the base plate. The robot picks up a vacuum spreader tool and moves over the center of the bridge. The vacuum spreader lifts the HDI and bridge over the pins and above the bare module. The bridge is held down with vacuum and the vacuum spreader tool is returned to the tool rack. The assembled module is wire bonded using a semi-automatic wire bonder. The operator acquires fiducial points on the assembled module, much like on the robotic gantry. The aluminum wire used to connect the rocks to the circuitry in the HDI is 25 microns in diameter. After wire bonding, an assembled module is encapsulated. Encapsulation is the process of depositing glue onto the feet of the wire bonds to protect them from the harsh conditions of the LHC. After the encapsulation cures, the assembled modules are ready to be thermally cycled. The operator places the assembled modules into the environmental chamber, where they are left there to be cycled between temperatures of minus 35 Celsius and 50 Celsius for 24 hours. The last step in the module assembly process is the testing of the fully assembled module. While previous testing was done on the probe station, testing of the fully assembled module is done inside a cold box test station. The operator can test up to four modules at once, and the data is uploaded to the local database. The final destination of the modules is deep underground in the LHC at CERN, where they will search for signs of new, unknown physics.